How's it going with Forex traders now guys? Today I want to use this opportunity to teach you guys a concept in Forex that will absolutely transform not just your trading but transform your lives. Guys, you have to understand that this Forex concept has helped me make well over 10 million US dollars in the Forex market. Yes guys, real cash real money for those guys who are just joining me for the first time my name is Dapo Willis and I've been trading the market for well over 13 years and in my 13 years worth of experience the X to E wave chart pattern if done properly can go ahead to make you guys a whole lot of money guys this strategy has gone on to make me a lot of money one Two, this strategy has also helped me like especially when I just discovered the strategy there was a time I was literally on the brink we've all been there brink of literally frying our accounts this pattern formed and this pattern literally once I got in on the e-wave oh I just left I let a little secret out of the bag so once I got onto the I used the entry strategy that is built for this for uh, the entry methodology that is built for this strategy once I jump onto the trade my last money I used my last money. This is how dependable it is. This is how accurate it is. This is how pinpoint and profitable it is. I used my last money, jumped onto the trade when the market told when the strategy told me it was ready to jump. And then guys, I used my last money with this strategy to revive a whole trading account. <laughs> and obviously I used it to go on to make a whole lot of my money so guys what you want to do right there is sit back enjoy this video don't go nowhere it's about 55 minutes long I want you guys to listen to everything that I'm teaching you guys in this video because it is absolutely going to change your life so guys before I get into the video you know the drill just go ahead and do yourself a favor smash the subscribe button right there so that you are alerted when I drop guys I'm always dropping free game and I consider myself to be one of the most transparent forex traders in the industry i know everybody on twitter all my followers are waiting for this video so guys go nowhere knock yourself out enjoy yourself oh before i go one last thing now the gospel truth is for you to be able to use this strategy very successfully and very profitably you need to understand and have a little bit of background knowledge of the top-down analysis now if you're wondering how you can get the top-down analysis is on the forex mastery program i will be speaking more about it as the video unfolds so you will get to understand understand where you can add your top-down analysis with this strategy and voila you're absolutely fine once again guys my name is Dapper Willis and it is a pleasure to be your tutor on today's video all right guys I'll catch you guys during the meet of the video I'm gonna go change my shirt to something green to represent profit but I'll see you guys on the inside take it easy and let's go all right guys so welcome inside of my screen like I said at the beginning of the video there are a couple of concepts that I wanted to share with you guys and teach you guys. Um, these concepts and these trading methodologies have actually helped me over the years to make a, a ton of money, okay? So once you see these things form, once you see them happen in the market, if you trade them this way, you're almost guaranteed to make a profit. Now guys, the first, very first one I wanna share with you guys is known as the X to E wave pattern. Now, what exactly is the X to E wave pattern? Now, I remember Remember, I've been trading the XTE wave pattern since the year of 2014. This is 2024 as at the time I'm recording this video. So even if you're going to be watching this video in 2034, <laughs> <laughs> it's still going to be very valid. It's still going to be very relevant, right? So um, I've been doing using this concept for well over 10 years and it has worked like magic. So what exactly is the XTE wave pattern? So the XTE wave pattern is very simple and straightforward. Now, the idea is once market, okay, once any market, regardless of be it commodities, be it FX, be it crypto, whatever the case may be, once any market comes into a period of consolidation and we form what they call an X to E wave pattern. So you're going to see something like this, okay, you're going to see um, an impulse leg like so, okay, it's going to look, you know, we're going to rally all the way not rally we're going to drop all the way uh from the upside and then you're going to start to see um the market start to basically coil up in a triangular form right 
Um, this usually happens after this market is done trending, maybe from the downside, or I'm gonna show you how it works in the, in the bullish market. But me, I like to trade selling markets. You know, that's that's just my priority, right? I love short selling. This is just how I like to trade, and I've made most of my money short selling. So pardon me for using the short sell example. So what usually tends to happen is you see a drop off, right? A massive sell off. So this is usually known as the impulse leg, right? So we have this and then you start to realize that, okay, what tends to, obviously the very first thing that will happen is you get a pullback into the 50 Fibonacci zone, right? And then obviously by default, this is an impulse leg, this is a pullback. And before you know what's happening, you want to start selling, right? So you click the sell button somewhere around the, obviously the bounce off of this region. This might be resistance, it might be Fibonacci. Most of the time it's Fibonacci. And then you start to see the market start to sell off again. And then we get all the way down here okay or maybe even somewhere here usually it stops here and then you start to realize that the market comes just short of the previous base right and you're saying to yourself hmm okay what's going on my profit target because ideally your profit target is going to be here right so you're saying to yourself okay mm, you know it's just getting here what am i supposed to do? i see this. and obviously you see the market start to rally all the way back to the upside like so you're like oh my god it's going back to my entry blah 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 but obviously being the smart trader that you are you'd have started to move your stop losses all the way from here down here and then eventually the market stops you at somewhere here what i'm trying to say here in essence is if this happens to you do not panic okay because chances are that the market is going into an x to e wave pattern okay so once the market starts to retrace all the way back to the upside and then we get here now you're confused because we have officially put in a low a lower high but this is not a lower low from here and this is not a lower high from here so this is neither <laughs> this is neither a downtrend nor an uptrend now once you see market form like this right once you see the market form like this just understand one thing no one thing and no peace this market has officially gone into a range okay and then what you then start to see is something like this okay the market now shoots all the way down here and then obviously we start to pull up all the way down we start to push all the way up here again okay somewhat something like so okay you get what i mean now <clears throat> so what the market is actually doing here is we're coming into a period of consolidation now if you're able to calculate listen guys if you're able to calculate your wave count properly you should be able to count what they call the x to e wave pattern so what you want to simply do is this right watch guys listen very cool stuff right what you want to do is this you want to take a trend line and join the bottom like so and you want and i know it might sound oh this is just a pennant this is just a range breakout now nah. the wave count is what i'm trying to teach you guys here so you want to connect the top like so as well okay this is what you want to do so what you have is x to a to b to c to d to e and i'm going to take my time to label it now so we have x let me just increase the font size to 32 okay so you don't miss it okay so we have x okay and if i just clone this some more and then we have a okay and if i just clone this as well and we have b And obviously we need to clone this as well boring actually let's clone a bit more so we don't keep cloning this shit all the time <laughs> let's just put this here and then we'll just change it later on right right so we have x to a to b to c okay and we have d and then we have e okay like so now what you officially have here is the x to e wave count pattern you probably say to yourself like so what <laughs> so what now guys over the years of trading this market i have come to realize that this pattern is one of the most reliable ways to trade forex especially 
if this forms on a higher time frame for example if this forms on a daily time frame oof oh la la best belief this market is going to do exactly what it's supposed to do now the question is where do we go from here now after we're done forming e what now happens is we now usually break out all the way back down to x now if this is a very strong downtrend the market will break through lower okay so the essence of this is for first of all for you guys to be able to understand when the market is going into a range this also presents an opportunity for you to jump into a pattern and a, a trend continuation trade one two this is where things even get more interesting let me zoom oh i just need to move this well, apparently i can't move this hold on guys yeah i can yeah i can move to the left please move 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 to the left all right cool so where things get even more interesting is is, is here you see because of the fact that you're so certain that e is going to drop this bad boy right if this forms on a daily time frame what you then need to do is come on a one hour time frame listen come on a one hour time frame you then take your uh trend line your counter trend line so ideally what i'm trying to say here in essence is your entries will now be somewhere here and that what that does for you is that that significantly reduces your risk increases your risk to reward so you'd end up having something like this to cash out all the way down here yes huge this is a 5.79 to 1 okay this is first level target so ideally um first level target will be here now second level target will be here now if you take your fibonacci from the swing high all the way down to the swing low this is 50 fib this is your 127 extension so ideally your second level target will be all the way down here i'm just going to delete this okay are we on the same page guys so your first level target will be here i'm just going to zoom this i'm just going to um reduce this a bit and let me put in another short position somewhere about here don't worry i'm going to be showing you guys a couple of real life examples that have happened uh, over the past uh couple of uh, months and weeks so you're looking at a 9.55 to 1 so the first level target is a 5.79 risk to reward uh 5.7 to 1 meaning that if you risk um three percent of your account you should be looking to get at least uh 16 percent return on investment on one trade and if you risk three percent here you should be looking to get at least 30 percent return on investment now if you risk six percent of that you you know exactly what that means you're looking to bag at least 60 percent of your account so you know, th these are the advantages of using uh, the XTE wave pattern. The thing, guys, you don't understand. Like I've used, I've used the XTE wave pattern to recover from an account that I almost blew. So it was a long time ago. You know, it was it was investors money. I was like, yo, <laughs> I was like, yo, and then the XTE wave reformed, guys. I just went, I went down to a lower time frame, one hour and fifteen minutes actually, and I just got the bounce off of here i literally sold at the bounce the tip with a small like i used two lots or was it four lots imagine using four lots to carry like 250 pips ah, that was exactly guys i will never forget i was actually in, Ed in scotland in, in edinburgh in scotland when that happened i was in my uncle's house i couldn't sleep i could not sleep xte wave pattern literally and absolutely saved my life um so that's it however i must tell you the pros and cons of using this um, but before i show you the, tell you about the pros and cons of using this let me also show you a bullish setup as well so i'm gonna go ahead and delete all of this ensure guys ensure i'm gonna screenshot this for twitter actually for all you twitter fingers okay i'm gonna screenshot this um for all you twitter fingers but let me just quickly map this out properly uh let's go here sell so, okay so we have the sell position here i'm just going to reduce the size to about 16 so we have the sell position somewhere around here 
and then I'm going to take this out here and use this arrow to demonstrate the sell off all the way to the downside, right? So, ladies and gentlemen, this is what is known as the X to E wave sell pattern, right? Um, let me just label this. Any need for impulse like now, just put this like this arrow is down here, like so. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and screenshot this for you guys, and I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the Forex Mastery course as well. I'll be explaining more in depth about this concept on the Forex Mastery program. If you haven't grabbed the Forex Mastery course, ensure to grab the, the, the course. The link is in the description, as always. Um, the truth is. Yes, this concept works very well. However, the Forex Mastery program teaches you how to understand a trend. In, first of all, like, you know, what direction is the market heading in so that you're not trading this. And imagine if you saw this in a bullish market and you go and click sell, you get stopped out, right? So ensure to grab the course. Once again, the link is in the description as always. Um, use the knowledge you have from the course, add it to this and you're on fire. Let's delete all of this, right? So you guys have this, right? So let's go into um, let's go into the bullish setup, right? Let's go. So what tends to happen in the bullish scenario is pretty similar to the to the bearish scenario, right? So usually it's a trend continuation, but guys, you guys have to understand that for every massive move to the upside, they must. <clears throat> there must what be a resultant consolidation period so obviously you've seen the move to the upside i'm just using an arrow to map this out like so you've seen the bullish move to the upside and then you start to see a retracement happen like so ideally the retracement happens directly into the 50 fib zone so um, if you do not know how to use Fibonacci, if you don't understand the concept of the best Fibonacci lines to use and why I use the 0.5 and 0.618 guys, these two levels work like magic. Once again, I explain it. Sorry, let me get water to drink. Ah. is life <laughs> so once again guys if you do not know how to use the Fibonacci um, properly guys that uh, there, there are a lot of Fibonacci levels but most of them don't work if you want to know the ones that work and all that you can see what I'm using right here or you can check um, module 4 on the Forex Mastery program it will teach you how to use Fibonacci properly Fibonacci is as far as I'm concerned number one most powerful tool in Forex period that's on period fair value gap demand and supply all of that once you can identify a an impulse leg and you can draw your fibonacci from swing low to swing high you will make a profitable trade It's more important than support and resistance and whatever anything anybody has to say this is the easiest way to trade but I'm not here to talk about Fibonacci. You want to learn more about it? Click the link in the description and get the program and get yourself educated. So back to what I was saying. This is the impulse leg, right? Now, that being said, this is the impulse leg all the way to the upside. We've pulled back into the Fibonacci zone and then you're buying here. Typically, Fibonacci traders will buy at the 50 Fib zone, but then the market starts to rally all the way to the upside and we get just shy of the top. Okay, if a trend is going to continue, ideally you should break through here. If it stops here, still danger, still a double top. Ideally, we should break through here. Not only did it not break through here, it didn't even come here, it stops here. You're like, hmm, okay, okay, what's happening? And then you start to see a sell off. And this is where a lot of people start to panic. Once you start to see a bearish engulfing candle, what, what usually tends to happen is you start to see bearish engulfing candle formations form, right? Um, once you start once you see that start to happen um automatically your stop losses are here just start locking in profit put a trailing stop okay don't be greedy okay don't be hoping and praying to god because one thing about god he don't answer the prayers of forex traders trading irresponsibly i can tell you that for free that days where i used to cry in my room about um <laughs> about obviously a trade that i recklessly entered and god did not answer my prayers he did it intentionally because he wanted me to learn anyway so you start to see the market sell off all the way back into your your uh, your trade your entry and you're panicking and all that and then we stop here okay we stop here so the market will look a bit something like this and then we then start to rally all the way to the upside like so so 
what is happening here is yet again another x to e wave pattern is forming let me just adjust this my drawings look a bit horrible and don't worry i'll be citing some real life examples for you guys to basically see and learn from right so what what exactly is happening here is something simple you, you if you draw your your counter trend line on the top like so you would see that the market is literally trying to pinch the top of this um wave count cycle right simply just draw another one at the bottom like so and then this is where the wave count literally starts once you see that we fail to make a higher high okay and we come down here and we fail to make equal lows like everything is is not completing we're neither making higher highs or higher lows everything is just staying inside of this previous move right so you have this to here this is here this gets here it's not reaching here this gets here it's not coming down here this gets automatically you know we're going into consolidation period and don't forget for every impulse wave there must be a period of consolidation so what you then have is the x to a uh, x to e wave count so then you start to count and don't don't rush it because it takes like almost a week to form so you cannot miss it i repeat you it's almost impossible for you to miss it right so we'll just come here and then we clone um, all of this and once again guys i will be showing you real life examples so you have nothing to worry about don't be scared you know me i always i always uh i always um i always trade what i preach as you guys know me over the years these are the concepts that i actually use to trade funds for my investors these are the concepts that i use um to show you guys how to trade here and here live on my youtube channel um so <clears throat> i use these 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 methodologies week in week out right so we have the x to a to b to c to d and then we have the e will form somewhere around here okay and then this is the buy scenario so let me just expand this bring this here so that you guys get what i'm saying okay so let's just quickly label this properly so if you change this to letter a change this to letter b change this to letter c and once again guys i'll be telling you the pros and cons about this as you guys know one thing about forex is not everything you see theoretically is obtainable in real life market situations i'll tell you why um how it's worked out for me and, and then situations whereby this strategy is invalidated okay so just be patient i'll tell you guys everything <laughs> everything um so yeah let's put the e here right cool so we have e <clears throat> now so we have the x to a to b to c to d to e now what tends to happen is guys nine out of ten times we will blow out all the way here at least back to x at least back to x okay so like i said in the cell um scenario what you want to do is simple okay <clears throat> what you want to do is very simple you want to come to a lower time frame for example like i said these things usually form on like daily time frames and weekly time frames imagine being able to predict now usually this this moves are usually huge maybe 400 500 600 700 pips <clears throat> you come on a one hour time frame because you know this bounce is it's almost a sure thing you say okay i will then come and look at this let's see um let's get the buy thing is this is short let's get the long position and you see your stop losses don't need to go far just here directly underneath here because it would have bounced off of here trade on the bounce and you can see that your first level target <clears throat> is looking in different situations this one because of how i drew it is a bit bigger this is looking like a 12 to 1 risk to reward ratio now by the time you add your fibonacci extension from here to here it will extend even further and maybe you can even have for goodness sakes a 20 to 1. um so it's a very lucrative way to trade forex extremely lucrative way to trade forex i'm not even going to lie to you extremely lucrative way to trade forex however as with every approach to forex there are pros and cons and this is the things uh, uh these are the things that the books don't tell you okay let me just uh reduce the size so me i've taken my time out i've gone into the books i have seen what works and what doesn't work and i'm here to share it with you guys okay 
so we buy here okay I'm going to obviously go ahead and take a screenshot of this for the boys on Twitter um, because lately I've been spending a lot of time on Twitter just educating and stuff right so let's just expand this right about here there you go now <clears throat> So let's call this the X to E wave pattern. Uh, let me just write this down here. Sorry, guys. Sorry, my people, because I don't want to do this twice. X to E. Mm, wave pattern. Because I have a lot of things to do these days, I literally just like to do things once and let's keep it pushing, right? So now we have the X to E wave pattern, okay? Get this screenshot now. Wrong, too small. Let's take it big from the wide. We come here. Deep and wide, deep and wide. There's a fountain flowing deep and wide. <clears throat> so, when you ask me, obviously, before I start showing you guys some real life examples, people often ask me, and I, I always try to be as transparent as possible, what are the pros and cons of this? What are the guarantees of this happening? First of all, the number one pro, or let's talk about the advantages of this. The number one advantage to this setup is the fact that it works out nine out of, but guys, I'm putting a million dollars on an, on an e-bounce. On this e-bounce, one million dollars. I will put, if I had $2 million, I will risk 50% of my account on this e-bounce, provided there's no news around. And don't forget, it needs to bounce. I need to see a bullish engulfing candle off of here, right? <clears throat> so the accuracy is top notch. Um, what else, what other advantages do we have? Um, I mean, that's about it. The, the number one advantage you want to hear from any trading uh, methodology is the fact that it is very accurate. However, there are a couple of disadvantages to this that, mm, that I don't know, like, it just made me feel like, I mean, hey, it's one of those things, right? Number one disadvantage of this is it takes a while for this to form. Um, so you might see this pattern form once every three months. Once every three months. But the good thing about it is once it forms once every three months, it's very accurate. But and the, and the pip, I forgot to add guys, the pip count is huge, huge. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? So, I mean, I just showed you guys the potential 10 to one five to one, 12 to one, even 20 to one, depending on how big the formation is and depending on how you can scale down on the e-bounds to be able to get in um, on a lower time frame with a minimized stop loss, right? So the pip count is usually huge, but it takes a while for this to form. Now, a number of people who watch Forex, uh, rather who trade Forex, very impatient. Forex traders are one of the most impatient people on planet Earth. I guarantee you that for free. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yes um the x to e wave pattern love it very much but it takes forever to form but once it forms fantastic that's one two the other this i won't call it a disadvantage something that i noticed now guys i want you guys to listen right i remember when i used this particular strategy to save myself from an account that was about to be blown and this is why i will forever respect this i will cherish it i will love it forever this this pattern However, I, I quickly realized something. When this happens, a trend continuation does not usually happen. We usually come to X and form a double top. And then we usually start to drop all the way down after here. So the day I was trying to save my account, I had jumped in here for like four lots. The market had gone all the way up here. I was greedy. And this is why I say when I teach, I teach from experience. I was greedy and I wanted the market to come even further. The market came here. I saw a bearish engulfing candle drop. Instead of me to, you know, and four lots on this kind of move, it was a lot of money. I think I made maybe like, I don't know, maybe a lot maybe like fourteen thousand dollars or sixteen or even eighteen thousand dollars can't really remember this was a while ago i was in edinburgh 
so we got here and this thing has happened to me on two different occasions i should have learned from the first time but i didn't learn i'm obviously now i'm well experienced once you get here my take profit i'm done um but once we get here the, the market usually is unable to break further we just get here and then we stall so i'd say like that's the only disadvantage of this just once you see this form the market usually doesn't have a trend continuation if it has a trend continuation fine once we hit here i'd advise most stop losses to at least above to somewhere about here because and watch out for this level once you see a bearish engulfing candle followed by another red candle get out of this trade okay so guys I hope I've been able to explain to you, shed light on this. Um, you guys basically understand how this goes, how this runs. I've showed you the entry, uh, stop loss placement, exit, and all of that. Um, and you're pretty much free to go. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's the XTE wave pattern. I'll go ahead and show you guys some real life examples. And yeah, watch out for the real life examples. All right, guys. So, like I promised, I said I was going to set a real life example just to explain and illustrate to you guys how to use this XTE wave pattern. Guys, we all know that sometimes, and actually most times, what theory states in the book is not exactly what is applicable in the real life trading conditions, right? Because think about it: if exactly what we were, we were taught in baby pips is exactly what happens in the market, everybody will be rich. So. After, now that I'm done showing you guys the idea, the concept with a couple of lines, I've showed you guys how it's done. Let's move to some real life examples and let's actually try and digest how the market will play out in a real life condition using candlesticks, right? So what we have here is from like what I can clearly see is an impulse leg. So this is the impulse leg. And then we've come here and then we're pretty much putting a double top and this market is struggling to go higher. So ideally, and this is exactly why I like to um, this is exactly why I like to come on YouTube and share a couple of things. See, it's easy for us to stay uh, uh, in our houses and back test shit and all that and then when it comes to real life training conditions we're blowing accounts. It's easy because <clears throat> nobody actually comes here to actually look at the real charts and find out what exact how does this market react to this methodology how does this market actually react to this theory so as you can see ideally i at this point i'm thinking okay this market has failed to put in a <coughs> high high so clearly um we should start to see some xt wave pattern from here this is your first thought right i also have another thought that states that okay this is also a demand area as well. This market could potentially pull into here. So this is first of all my primary area of concern. This is where I'm expecting the market to actually put in um, an XTE wave pattern, right? So if you go ahead and watch exactly what happens to the market, the market comes and breaks this level and puts in a low, right? We come in and break lower. So at this point you're thinking, Ugh, but Mr. Willis said, am I going to start drawing this like this and all that, blah, blah, blah. In this kind of scenario, what you do is you just need to sit down and wait. Relax. Allow the market form and do what exactly it really needs to do, right? So all you need to do is watch out for the market. But at this point, we've already started to kind of cite the descending trend line for that will potentially form this triangle. So what you need to do, the only thing you need to just do is just plot this like so simple now if you want to come in here and continue playing it it's still a triangle if you want to play it from here it's fine so we want to watch and see what exactly and how this market plays out right <clears throat> and as you can see so we're potentially thinking hmm this is another thing you're gonna be thinking okay so could this be so now we're looking at this could be X this could be a this could be B okay so now I can actually start bringing out my text okay so if I just click so that's that's the text if I just do that uh, put this here let's put some X clone this let's see if we can get some a let's clone some more let's see if we can get some B okay fantastic so at this point we're pretty much just watching to see what exactly how everything is unfolding and i'm just going to remove this green bar because i don't want the green bar to distract us so at this point we're thinking okay this is x this is could this be a could this be b we're not exactly sure yet right we're not exactly sure yet okay 
and then what now happens is this market now attempts okay as you can see attempts to break out of here and you're saying to yourself oh, but this thing hasn't even completed x to a to b to c like it's not working what exactly mr willis your strategy is not working at this point everybody's going crazy freak it i'm just gonna buy look at what happens next The market comes, plays around with this region, and then absolutely tanks right back into support. Absolutely tanks right back into support. So at this point now, it's very simple. It's very simple and clear to me what exactly is happening, right? So for some of you, it might not be simple and clear, but I'm going to be. I'm going to explain to you what exactly is happening. So. This is exactly where you want to come and regroup. Forget about these alphabets for now. You want to think, what did we learn just now, okay? Okay, this is the impulse leg. It runs into the tip of the trend line. This is X, okay? Why is this not B? This is not B because this is not the area of support. The area, sorry, this is not A rather. My apologies. This is not A because this is not the area of support. A is usually area of support okay the distance between x and where a patterns out this is known as a, this is known as a right <clears throat> this can be a because this is this could have been a but this market broke lower so technically this is not the support we're dealing with right this is what i'm trying to explain to you the support we're dealing with is right here guys right here so i would officially put i will crown you x it's okay for uh x to 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 two touches to count as one alphabet okay it's okay for two touches to count as one alphabet and you see more of it as i explained to you guys okay so we've got x here two chart two touches guys this thing is very simple it's just a triangle i'm trying to draw here but i don't want you guys to draw the triangle the wrong way okay <clears throat> and then count it wrong because this is how to count it properly nobody ever taught me this i had to learn it with a lot of stop losses so better listen so we have x so this is officially an A because from the way the market has panned out here, okay, we can clearly state that this bad boy is holding, right? It's held here, held here, held here, okay? Now, <clears throat> we are going to crown this A, okay? Let's change this to B so that we know exactly where to put B. So you don't really know where X and A to We don't really know where B and C is. You don't really know where the real turning points in the market are until we've probably formed to around B or C areas. And I'm going to explain to you what I mean. Like, remember how everything was forming? We didn't know where, where do we put A, where do we put So until we formed to about C, before we can actually determine that okay this trend line is this support is holding and this trend line is actually holding strong so at that point when the thing is forming you're like do we buy do we sell you need to be patient that's where patient comes into play you need to allow technical levels be fulfilled first listen good so now we can officially say this is x and this is a why is this not b why is this not b and these are the questions we will ask ourselves when real money is involved and when real life trading conditions are involved. Why is this not B? The, uh, the simple answer to why this is not B is this cannot be B because look at when we draw our trend lines to accommodate uh, the wicks of this candle properly. Don't forget the two touches, the two slanting points would determine an entire trend line the first two points of every uh week of of every candle determine what the fate of the trend line is going to be so i simply joined these two so if i just delete this one more time and i take this and i join the top of these two as you can see one two and i drag it nicely this ladies and gentlemen is the trend line i'm not going to go now start bringing any any lines in here to accommodate anything just imagine if i had decided to draw my trend line like this you would have 
people would have bought i know a lot of people would have been buying anticipation for upside but look at what has happened it has come here and it has stalled so it broke the inner trend line but failed to break the outer trend line i always want to be trading and using the outer trend line for reference at every given point because that is the trend line that really calls the shots so unfortunately this guy didn't touch the trend line so this cannot be qualified as b this is x this is a and because this didn't qualify as b we've come down here these two touches are now qualified as a if this was a b this would have been a c but this doesn't qualify as a b so all that happened is there was just a bounce off of a all that has all that has happened here was just a simple retest of a that's it so i put the a in the middle like so but you see as we push all the way up you can clearly tell this market came to ruffle some feathers around here so this is officially b okay just adjust this properly at the base of the candle like so this is officially b don't worry about if it touch it, it, it all, all we're talking about is the touch of the, the trend line that is what determines if an alphabet has formed so you can see we've come into a we've pushed into b this is a very strong b because we even tried to break the trend line but we came and couldn't couldn't sustain it so <clears throat> b has now dropped and this can now officially be called c so we'll clone this clone this bad boy only two clones actually okay so i'll change this to c i hope i'm making sense guys if i'm making sense i'm trying to explain this the best way i can sorry i have a flu shit happens but like i said to you guys midway through this video i just had a flu but i said i'm gonna put this video out definitely because i need to educate you guys on this shit it's very important very lucrative very profitable and the truth is why all of this is happening that's why i say close your computer and go spend time with your family go and relax when all this chaos is happening, day traders are inside out buying, selling, but it's all totally mess. Meanwhile, your triangle is just forming, like it's just kicking up, waiting for the push to the upside, right? So you're just chilling while everybody's getting stopped out, all this madness. You don't want to be trading all this madness, trust me. It's not profitable. So, so now we have X. This is representing X, A, B this is a c because this b was well represented and this c is clearly well represented right and now we have a d that potentially forms somewhere around here so c d and i'm gonna need one for e So we have a potential e form somewhere around here we're just saying hypothetically right so let's see what happens right <clears throat> so you can see d strong form very strongly very nicely d forms very nicely as a matter of fact we have a double top this market is attacking this trend line very nicely this is known as a d this is a touch this is d right there and then we're looking to see okay hopefully we get a potential pull back and this is where things get a bit tricky because this is where we now start talking about entries and stop loss placement and all that so let's see how this plays out okay so you can see d we've had two touches here okay two touches here because this guy didn't come down in here this can count as an e this is still floating right this is still floating so for all we know this is a double touch of d so what i'm trying to say here guys for us to be able to print another alphabet see this x touched here this a touched here this a didn't touch so it's a ping pong we need to fulfill both sides before we can register the alphabet this x touched here twice came down here a tried to push for here for b he didn't reach here he came and touched here twice so both of them will be considered as one alphabet this a pushed into here and touched very well touched twice actually this is a b this b pushed it down back here and touched so this can this will come as a c 
This C touched very well and pushed all the way back to the upside. And this D, this place touched very well. So both this, this is valid and this is very valid. So now I can officially say the next touch of here will be an E. So let's see. Okay. So I can start to see a bit of push out from here. So from what I can see clearly about here, this market has come shy of this support level about here. And if I'm being honest, this is technically a zone about here. So if you guys remember, this is why I always tell you guys, go ahead, go ahead and please go ahead and please take the forex mastery program so that it will teach you how to draw your support and resistance levels properly you see support and resistance and they're not just lines they're they're regions okay so ideally this is exactly how my base will look like and as you can see this bad boy was touched okay this bad boy was touched pretty nicely and you can see that this we've come into here for the bounce of e now how do we trade this e very simple i'm sorry i allow this obviously spill over a bit but my entries would have gone on the bounce and open after this bounce this candle about here if you're unfortunate to catch it here that's still fine okay Provided you see E works like magic if the market bounces off of E chances of it coming back are very slim Okay, so this is exactly where I would then pull out my buy uh, My my um, What do they call it my risk to reward ratio and then I'll start to calculate ideally I want to be hopping in somewhere around here. So back to what I was saying the bounce off of E Okay, the bounce off of E once the first candle closes i will ideally want to be waiting for the second candle to close just for extra confirmation and we have to be bullish okay we have to what be bullish now um <clears throat> i will then come in here and i'm officially ready for a buy so my buy stops obviously comes around here my take profit my take profit needs to come below this support region about here okay and i will be looking for a potential profit target all the way back into x that's why it's called the x to e wave pattern okay so at this point i'm long i'm long off of the bounce off of e okay i know i sprung in making the, the trend line the the, the what, what's it called the support level a bit thicker yes i know that happened happened but the truth is you need to make your support level thick in order to be able to accommodate this demand zone very properly if you look to the left here you can see that part of the demand was here part of it was here part of it was here so your support or your your demand or your key level this is called the key level is supposed to be able to accommodate this and this and thicken it out to make it a zone across so that you don't miss out on any potential touches it's okay for us to break below but as you can see as we break below we always jump all the way higher we peep we, we peep here and all that and blah 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 and stuff like that and this is still not a b this is still not doesn't count as a, as a, an alphabet for those of you who are getting confused let me count again x this is a right this should have been b what invalidated here from being b and here being c answer is simple we didn't complete we need to go from zone to zone to zone to zone for us to be able to complete alphabets this didn't come here came back here so this is still x finally we dropped here okay so we have zone to zone so i mean this is a i'm expecting a to rally all the way up here you know it didn't reach here it played around and came back here so this is still technically an a regardless of if if touched here or not it did this guy didn't didn't get here so we need confirmation on both ends for us to what complete a full impulse cycle right you guys get where i'm coming from now let's go straight to the entry so ideally at this point i would like for my stop losses to just come slightly below slightly below uh what do they call it the the support level about here and as you can see um usually the risk to reward is a lot higher um 
but I'll tell you where most of the money lies. So I can almost guarantee you that from this e-bounce, this market is not exactly going to look back. And as you can see, we literally just blow out to the upside and I can almost guarantee you this market blew up all the way straight into X, okay? And we have all the way that and as you can see the market came right into x and what happened <laughs> we came right into x once you hit this take profit level we get to x and we what start to break all the way back down remember what i told you in uh, the instructional video that one of the disadvantage of this is not really a disadvantage but one of the things i didn't realize earlier on in my trading career was i was always hoping and expecting xe to blow all the way and make higher highs but for some strange reason once an x to e wave pattern forms the market comes back into x it does not when i repeat does not go higher so ladies and gentlemen ensure and don't get greedy <laughs> don't get greedy always know that once e blows out it will come to x and once you get to x you must take out your what your position now the gospel truth is and this is exactly where the real money is and this is where a lot of traders don't understand so i would jump in for a three percent risk here this is 5.37 to one so this would roughly net me about 15 percent return on investment so traders are like isn't that too small for waiting this long for us to trade the gospel truth is yes well 15 percent is relative 15 percent for me is a lot of money and because i manage a lot of funds I don't mind waiting uh, maybe three weeks for this to form. To be honest, I don't mind waiting three weeks for this to form um, just so that I know I'm guaranteed of my 15%. But for those of you guys who have said, okay, I've waited this long, I should be able to at least bank more pips from this market. Like, do you know what I mean? So what I then do, and this is where I make a lot of money, because of the fact that I'm so sure of this e-bounce, like it's almost, almost works almost 100% of the time, because I'm so sure of this e-bounce to the upside and I'm so setting this market is coming here. Once we start to approach resistance levels inside of the triangle don't forget these were these were turn back points these were turn back points when the market approaches these turn back points on its way up it would definitely react so i would put some form of a level somewhere around here as you can see this represents turn back points so let me just not confuse you guys you to you guys too much now turn back points will then make the market consolidate people will take out profits people are like ah, okay i've made all this onto the upside and all of that blah blah but very few traders know that this market is going from e back to x so because i'm very sure that this market is going from e back to x you see this consolidation here i would then zoom into a lower time frame like a four hour time frame and i'll be looking to jump in for some extra money somewhere around here this will now make my stop loss a lot smaller somewhere around here depending on what time frame you're using to enter i will want to put my stop loss below the previous low this is a daily time frame and that's why we can't really see very clearly so this ideally would be my stop loss zone and then i will then obviously add to my position and my take profit will be all the way up here okay all the way what up here so what i've done now is this and i'll be risking three percent of my account so i already have a 15 percent return on investment from this big boy this will now add another five to one, which is another fifteen percent. Because three times five, I'm risking three percent of my account, and I have a five to one risk to reward ratio. So I am looking at another fifteen percent risk return on investment. So if you calculate both of them, fifteen percent from this first one from the e bounce plus the fifteen percent plus from this uh, uh, second entry, that gives you a cumulative thirty percent. That is huge, and the amount of pips from here to here is a lot it's absolutely a lot so you're looking at about definitely 700 pips 700 pips if i'm not mistaken so this is a very lucrative way to trade however this market actually um takes a while to form and this is one of the disadvantages i'm sure if you just see as things play out <coughs> this market takes a while for it to form 
okay just because i mean it's just it's just how it is this is this is this is a, a, a consolidation pattern and it's just what it is guys i remember trading this market very well uh, when the market got here i was expecting us to continue going higher you know our you know this market pull back here i thought this was a pull, pull back for further upside uh, yo this market just uh it just bro absolutely broke my heart all the way to the downside and yeah if you're not careful all the gains you've made from here to here will be wiped out from this all the gains you made from here to here will be wiped out on this so i hope i've been able to to not complicate issues i hope i've been able to explain to you guys properly um as to as to how this absolutely works i'm gonna take it i'm gonna do a brief summary of this once again all right guys so let's do a quick recap as to how to use the xde wave pattern properly now like i said to you guys this is the impulse leg ideally we would have been looking to draw a triangle here if this was the base this would have just been an x to a to b to c to d to d to d to d and blow out but we pulled all the way back down here into support into the proper demand which is huge demand right because for this this is a whole lot of liquidity being trapped here and then push all the way to the upside so instantly i will bring out my my major uh key level which i teach on the forex mastery program well by the way for those of you guys who haven't gotten the forex mastery program the link is in the description as always and sure to grab it um so it will teach you how to identify trends, how to trade in the right direction. Because the truth is, without understanding the top-down analysis, you will struggle with this. You need to understand the flow of the market so that you can position yourself in that direction. So, as you can see, bam, X here. We're expecting A to be here. No, it came here and then dropped. We're expecting the market to go up and form B here. Bam. That wasn't happening. Don't forget in all of this, connect your trend line at the top. The first two points are where you want to be looking at, right? Because this didn't get here, this didn't con this was not considered as a B. Instead, we came in shy of this and came and double tested A. This is A. A then pushes out and then touches the trend line properly. For as a matter of fact, a double top and forms a concrete B. B then pushes all the way back down to support, and as you can see, this was concrete. This is C. C then pushes and touches the trend line, not once, but twice, forming us D. And D obviously pushes all the way back down into support level, which then forms as E. Entry for all of this is I would like to see a bullish engulfing candle, at least a bullish candle. This green candle actually covers 50% of the previous red candle, which told me that this guy is bouncing off of here. And I got out, I got into this trade actually here on the bounce of this and the close of the second green candle. And as you can see, like they say, the rest is history and this market rallies all the way into profit target level at all the way at x and as we get to x the market pins x right here the market pins x right here and then if your take profit is not properly done or you're not trading with the proper broker like uh, if you're not using the proper prop firm like willis capital you won't get taken out for profit here willis capital once your take profit is there 100 percent you are getting taken out for take profit and as that happens bam the market starts to drop all the way to the upside so guys this is one example i'm going to try and see if i can put another example um although this video is quite long Maybe I'll put in another example, but if you don't see another example, bear with me. I just didn't want to make the video long. Or let's see how it goes. Let's see if maybe I'll have time to put in another example. There's several examples in the market. Um, this is 700 pips to the upside. So sometimes when you hear me come and say I'm predicting thousands of pips into the future, this is exactly how I'm able to do it. And I like to do this because think about it, guys. Within 700, and the truth is, even within all this push to the upside, if you came on your 15 minute time frame, you can just be stacking. I like short probability trades that go for a long stretch. So I can have one trade, two trades, three trades, four trades, even five trades within the same cycle, provided the market keeps going higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. So instead of taking only 700 pips from this, you can potentially buy two to 3,000 pips. So ladies and gentlemen, this is a perfect example for you guys. All right, people, thank you. Thank you for staying to the very end of this lengthy video. It was long, I know, but I hope I've been able to illustrate and demonstrate to you guys how to use the X to E wave pattern profitably and most importantly, how to use it to add money to your bank account. Once again, guys, my name is Dapo Willis. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, ensure to do so. Smash 
the subscribe button right there and if you haven't grabbed the forex mastery program the link is in the description as always i'll catch you guys on my next video where i'm going to be talking about the falling knife strategy you want to watch out for this space watch out for this channel i'll be dropping it same time same place next weekend saturday 8 p.m and i'll catch you guys live take it easy guys and peace out